as you can see we got the whole front bumper off the uh, crash bar and it it is super comfortable to work on it like this so that's what we're doing um, but we got our 90 degree drill bit um, and we already have it marked in the torque storm directions they tell you how to measure it to mark it so you know how deep you need to go so we need to drill right here to the back side of the tape where my fingers at so that's how deep we got to go so let's get it done We got the ATI super damper on the crankshaft. She's all the way on. So our next step is we're gonna drill the crank to put the two pins in. This is the tool they supply you with. You wanna put the stepped in inside the damper like so. Line up the hole inside and then you're gonna get your bolt that Torque Storm supplies you with. Thread it in and you're gonna tighten this down pretty tight so it don't move around. And then we're gonna run this down and tighten it. All right, so we got our crankshaft drilling tool installed. So what we're gonna be doing is drilling into these two holes to pin the crank. So this is the fun part. So we got our drill set up. This is a 90 degree drill. Um, however, the way that we have the Challenger took apart right now, as you can see. We got the whole front bumper off the uh, crash bar, and it, it is super comfortable to work on it like this. So that's what we're doing. Um, but we got our 90 degree drill bit, um, and we already have it marked in the Torque Storm directions. They tell you how to measure it to mark it so you know how deep you need to go. So we need to drill right here to the back side of the tape where my finger's at. So that's how deep we gotta go. So let's get it done. Some good uh, drill cutting spray works pretty good to help drill this out. Just kind of spray it in your holes. Drill a little bit and then as you get going, just kind of keep, apply uh, keep applying it. Some more lube in there. Push on the back of my chair so it quits rolling. there a little bit more all right so now we're going to hit the other hole
we are there. So now we got a we got our two holes drilled. We're gonna clean out all this metal, blow it out. All right, so we got the crank drilled. As you can see, we just removed the tool. We got two nice, perfectly drilled holes. If I made toot my own horn. And that's all there is to it. That was real time drilling. It doesn't take much uh, if you got the right tools and a good drill bit. We have our new crank bolt. We got some Loctite on it already. This bolt comes from Torque Storm. And then we have our two pins that's going to go in the holes we just drilled. So we're going to slide these pins in. And that one slid right in with my finger. Sometimes you got to tap them in there with a hammer, but. Tap in to get it all the way seated. There you go. You can see the two pins are installed. So now we have a pinned crankshaft. And after you get your pins installed, the keyway that's in the ATI pulley, you can see at the top right there, we need to put some silicone. Just basically squirt a little bit of silicone in that keyway and then install your bolt and you're good to go. We're gonna install our new crank bolt from Torque Storm. And we're gonna tighten this to approximately 39 rat tats or holy shit. Now we got a pinned crankshaft. <laughs> 